Let me guess, Supreme Court of India has made significant observations while delivering a verdict aimed at curbing the practice of bulldozer justice. A bench comprising Justices B.R. Gawai and K.V. Vishwanathan emphasized that demolishing, demolishing properties based on mere accusations is, quote, unconstitutional, unquote. While pronouncing the verdict, the apex court observed, quote, it is not a happy sight to see women, children and aged persons dragged to the streets overnight. Heavens will not fall on the authorities if they hold their hands for some period. The executive cannot pronounce a person guilty only on the basis of accusation. If the executive demolishes the property of the person, it will strike at the rule of law, unquote. And I want to quickly bring in both Sanjay Jha and Shadat Punawala. I don't have much time, but I want to ask you, Mr. Shadat Punawala, is this a setback for the yogi model of governance as the opposition constantly says that this is a slap in the face of the yogi model and it proves that his actions were only against one community, they were communal in nature, and he is today being hauled before the, on the coals, over the coals. On the contrary, I welcome the Supreme Court order because there's no blanket ban on bulldozer being used against illegal properties. There's no condoning of illegal properties. It has been standardized. Guidelines have been laid down for the entire country. In fact, on page 5.4, the government of UP has been appreciated for its stand. The opposition was expecting that it would be a setback for the UP government. But unfortunately, they are the ones who are selective. When Kangana Ranaut's house is destroyed by the MVA and the Bombay High Court stays that action, they are silent. When Akhilesh Yadav uses the bulldozer against his own MLA, Mr. Rampal Yadav, they are silent. They are silent when it is threatened by Akhilesh Yadav to be use the bulldozers against Gorakhpur. That time they are silent. They are silent when Rajasthan Chief Minister Gehlo Ji uses the bulldozer against a 300-year-old Shiv Mandir. And those who say that Muslims were the ones who are being targeted by the bulldozer, just a fact check. Ashok Yadav, history sheeta, house was demolished. Baddan Singh Baddo, house was demolished. Vikas Dubey, house was demolished. Illegal Polytechnic of Kunto Singh was demolished. Bulldozer or Likka Mafia, D27 gang, Rakesh Singh was demolished. Sundar Bharti's property in Noida was demolished. He was a gangster. Illegal properties of 33 gangsters, including Atik Ahmed, who, by the way, killed Umesh Pal from the PDA Samaj. So, this narrative building can go on. But in fact, the bulldozer justice has been given guidelines to do it with. And therefore, we are very happy. But, Mr. Sanjay Jha, Telangana 75 houses were bulldozed at 3 a.m. by Revant Redni. One word of objection on that. One so, word. So, that's the question. Sanjay Jha, is today's Supreme Court judgment being used to score political points against one person, Yogi Adityanath. Is that what's really happening here? Rahul, let me tell you, I think the verdict today is not and should not be called bulldozer justice. It should be called bulldozer injustice. Because the people, if you read the Supreme Court verdict carefully, they have talked about innocent children and families being brought down to the streets because a certain government took the decision to unilaterally and absolutely in an ad hoc manner do the things they did. And the words of the Supreme Court are a severe indictment for the BJP, which should today, I think, hang his head in shame because it says it violated constitutional law, which is why I think the India Alliance is right when it says that the constitution of this country remains under threat because how but the judgment didn't single out any political party and neither was the BJP a party in this case. This was the Jumeit, uh, Jumeita, uh, whatever, Ulema Hind. Hind versus uh, uh, one particular action. That's all. Yeah, yeah. But so, but I can tell you one thing. How are you making this all about here. the BJP? That's what I'm asking. It's good that they have guidelines. And let me tell you that the Supreme Court has said that this doesn't allow to people who are encroaching public uh, places. That's fine. Uh, so you tomorrow can't roll out your mats and get onto uh, the streets. You can't build and in, encroach upon public land. You can't take over streets either. All of this stands. But Rahul, yes. but Rahul, can you imagine the Supreme Court is doing the job of the executive and the government? Okay. Because the Quick government response, is sir. Actually Supreme Court has to step in. Ultimately, Sanjay Jha, to remind you of your duties. Sanjay Jha, not just you, but all political Sanjay Jha, governments. Sanjay Jha, ultimately, the sum and substance of your argument is that this is against rule of law, constitutional rule of law. Would you say that Congress should come out and criticize Sir Tanse Juda lobby? Is that pro rule of law? When well, have you heard Congress say anything about Sir Tanse Juda? Listen, uh, Shaza, the wrong okay. platform for you okay. to okay. try and choose a red herring. Well, okay. viewers... This is a day for you to introspect whatever, and probably apologize for the wrongs you have done. Viewers, viewers, let me tell you one thing. That the Supreme Court has at least laid down certain guidelines. But it has not stopped the action of demolishing encroachment. So there's a clear distinction that has been made.
one just hopes that due process is followed and we are always in favor this channel this show this anchor always in favor of due process hopefully now with these guidelines that will be observed and let's not continuously politicize these issues anymore we leave it at this viewers lot more coming up on the vantage